Hey everyone, it's Amanda here. It's time for our weekly battle. We're going to be playing Chris uh, Kalidos. Kalidos. Pardon me if I say it wrong. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this battle started. I'm going to use the new deck that I put together, which is an Alolan Ninetales deck. So we'll get right into that and see how this does. I've only played it twice, and I won one lost one, so that doesn't really give you a good idea of how it's going to go, especially considering we don't know what our friend Chris here is going to play. Well, we're going to give it a go. So it looks like he has a psychic deck. Psychic and colorless. Colorless. <coughs> Alright. Okay. So we'll go ahead and throw the only thing up there we can. A little in bold picks, and luckily we already have a little in nine tails, so. Then, I mean, could be good, could be bad. This is kind of a. Hit or miss deck. Good against some of the main decks that people like to put together. Alright. And we'll just go ahead and throw that on there. No So as you can see right now, Lola Ninetales is actually going to benefit us because the ability is prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done on this Pokemon by your opponents. So, uh, GX or EX. So as long as he has Espeon out there right now, we're safe. And he could retreat it and get rid of that energy, but I don't know what his exact plan is. Since it does seem that he's setting up a Garbodor with Garbotoxin and he has a drop of GX down. Uh, even though for some reason or another that did allow him to do damage. Not sure why. <laughs> and I can't use the ability of Lele because of the robotoxin or whatever. So. Hey, hey, 
All my brothers got the gas and they always be smoking like a rasta. Hey, hey, all my brothers got the gas and they always be oh, okay. smoking like a rasta. Oh, here we go. Goodbye. Here's to hoping, ladies and gentlemen. We'll go ahead and throw that up there. And the only reason I threw Lele up there is because it can withstand the most damage at this point with what I have on my bench. So. And I don't remember, I don't recall if I have a field blower in my deck. If I do, I'm definitely going to utilize that. Because there are a few things here that would benefit me had they not been attached to the card in the field. And he's doing divide, which put 10, da 10 damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. So... Looks like he did six of them on a Lolan Vulpix, and he's gonna do some damage to a couple other ones, so that's fine. It happens. <clears throat> hmm. I'm just gonna throw that on there. Can't really do anything. Oh, field blower. I wonder what he's going to get rid of. Oh, he got rid of the, uh, one on Garboder. So, I wonder what his intentions are. Interesting. Well, there he is again. He took it off just to put it back on. I don't know why. Pull out another Drompa. Alright. So... And now he's using Field Blower again.
There's that, guys. Sorry, it wasn't a more evenly matched game. Looks like my Alolan Ninetales deck is still in need of some practice. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and throw us a like. If you have any comments, suggestions, questions, go ahead and drop that in the comments. If you aren't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you want to be notified first, don't forget to hit the bell. And as always, I am Amanda, and we hope you have a lovely day. And if you celebrate, happy Thanksgiving, everyone.